Okay, every evening we'll be showing up to a different camp, and most evenings your Wranglers will have a set of special instructions on where to unsaddle, where to put the saddles, where to put the feed bags, where to put personal gear. Always your personal gear comes off first, along with the feed bag. Personal gear will be a bed roll, which will be up here, and any gear that you deem necessary to survive the night. Uh, you do not need to take your, your, your saddle bags off. We try and discourage that. Just take out those necessities like a flashlight, uh, a snack, your gloves, anything you might need uh, in the course of the evening. Okay. Once you've got that gear off, make sure that you get it away from the horses. Uh, don't set it down. Take it far away. Usually there will be a, an area that the, the Wrangler will point out to take that gear. Feedbacks are another thing to come off before you get the saddle off. Uh, we will start a pile. It needs to be counted. We need to make sure they have a, a tendency to disappear and be lost to the ages. Uh, and it's a, it's a lot of hassle. So take your feedback off. It should be hanging on the horn for the most part and take it over and, and get it away from the horses. A bag, uh, a, a pile will appear somewhere. On saddling, you're gonna have uh, your reins and your bridle on the horse. Unwrap them. Uh, some bridles have throat latches, some do not. Uh, the, the head stalls, we never unbuckle those. Those come right off the head, okay? So you let them, let them take it off of them. We wrap up the reins and the bits do not hang on the horn the actual leather touches the horn. So throw that over on the right side of your horn, okay? And your reins are off. Try to take the, the, the bridle off before you unsaddle, okay? Everything goes in order. You're gonna be going back and forth from where the saddle goes and things might get lost. Uh, especially in the first day or so, look at your saddle, look at your saddle bags, look at your bridle. Find distinguishing uh, factors for each of these. Maybe one has a scratch in it. Maybe there's something interesting about that saddle. Make sure that when you wake up after eight hours of sleep, you'll be able to find that saddle and be able to put it on the corresponding horse. Okay, unsaddling. Uh, first things first, breast collar. Take the strap out, rebuckle it automatically. Always rebuckle. I love these straps, I need these straps. They cost money, they get lost. I need them back. So, and I will hook that breast collar on around and throw it over the, over the saddle. I don't let it hang down because the legs of the horse and this strap were just so where he can, he can easily get his foot caught up in them, and we don't want that to happen. Second, we're going to do the uh, flank strap. We're going to let that swing free. Make sure that you let it out there slowly. Don't let it go back and knock his knee. Uh, he'll remember that one. Lastly, and this is, this is important that you do this last, is the cinch, okay, and the latigo. You might have had it in the latigo holder. You might have had it in the D-ring. Uh, depending on the horse, between, depending on the saddle. To get the uh, tang to unlock from the latigo, all you're going to do is pull up and it'll unlatch, pull that down, and then pull the straps out. You might have it wrapped up three or four times. Mine's fairly simple some days. So luck of the draw, uh, size of the horse, size of the saddle, size of the latigo. We'll see. Okay, latigos have to be folded up, and I'll do another video on, on the how-to of this, but fairly simple if you can watch this. My left hand will go on underneath, my left, my right hand will go on, on what's at the top of the strap, but it will pull up underneath itself. And I'm just going to have a, a strap like this. I'm going to lock my left hand, and I'm going to feed over, not all the way, that extra strapping, okay, until I have two loops. With the excess strap, the opening of the strap, I'm going to bring it to the right, fold it over the top of these straps, go up through the D-ring, and down like a tie through the leather. And this gives me a pretty latigo, okay? Uh, it's putting up the leather the way we need to have it, okay? It's making it where if you're, you're, if you're taking your saddle off, you're not dragging it through the dirt and, and messing up the leather, and you're not tripping on it, which is a, a health hazard. So every time, whenever these saddles come off, whenever they're going on, this knot and these latigos need to be just like this. If you don't understand this, the knot, please ask questions. Don't. A lot of times I'll find people spending five minutes trying to twirl it up and around, ask questions, learn the knots, and everything will be great. All right, I'm going to go around to the right side of this horse. I'm going to throw the stirrup up first, and then I'm going to throw the flank strap and the cinch on top of that stirrup. The stirrups seem to uh, jump off fairly easy, depending on how long your legs are and where they're adjusted off to. They're the first thing that falls over, so I always throw them over first and allow the cinch and the flank strap. 
to go on top of them and settle them down. I've got my bridle, I've got my pads, I've got my saddle. Everything that was on this horse that, that needs to come off is all in one bundle, okay? You're gonna grab the pads, pull that saddle off, you've got it all. 